welcome back to Stuck in the Nylon, guys. Well, I'm stuck with you, but we are always smiling. Yo, first, before I even start out this video, I want to thank you guys because I was so surprised. Yesterday, I posted a video, the video that said tied me, tied me up. And, you know, in the end of the video, I remember saying, yo, guys, get the video to at least 50 likes, you know, so that, you know, and I can do more, you know, daily vlogs. And I was so surprised. Like, I had, like, it's probably like at 60 likes right now and only at like 300 views and guys yo no videos ever done that like i'm kind of wondering why you guys don't normally do that like do i have to like like set a trap for y'all and tell y'all if i if you don't get it to 50 likes there'll be no more daily vlogs god damn man but anyway guys like really i really appreciate that is me i pre like guys when me telling them certain things i'm insisting to do it yo big man thing me appreciate that you don't even understand um so yeah you don't know February is gonna be the month where I'm gonna be taking you guys and doing some of the more adventure stuff, you know, because that's what Soy Vlogs is pretty much about. Soy Vlogs is about a lot of stuff, you know, we're doing like a lot of crazy stuff. I try to keep the things fresh for y'all, make things fun and enjoyable. So February, that's what it is. But um, a big part of my vlogs now, not a part of the vlogs, but a part of my life what I'm trying to do is like trying to go to church. Like I don't really like I don't care what religion you are. You could be Muslim, you could be Chinquenta, you could be Taquisha, you could be Burger King, whatever religion it is. Like it don't matter. Like I accept all people, but like for me personally, I'm taking this church thing up um, because like guys like oh, flip over. <laughs> guys like um, big man thing. I remember a few months ago, maybe almost a year ago. System my reminder us like every single every single sunday i should go to church and i like i haven't been doing it but now i have the opportunity so i'm going to church and i had to just wake my sister up just now because she was up like i got up to work at six o'clock this morning and imani was like watching videos but now she's up and you know i have to wake her up in a gentle way because like i used to yo y'all used to hate when like hmm, switch up y'all used to hate when you're like your kids and like your parents come in like my mom used to slap my foot Get up! And I was like, <laughs> and so you start crying. Like, if you, sorry guys. Emotionally, I went back in the past, and that wasn't a good thing. But anyway, like my mom used to wake me up that way. And I was like, oh my gosh, like really, mom? You can't ask my sister. Imani, hey, don't mommy used to wake you up rough. You hear that? Mommy used to wake me up was rough. But my father, my father's completely different in terms of waking us up. Like when I was a kid, like my father used to be like, um. Wake up Tom, time to go to school now, wake up Tom. So, yeah, so he's a dude that, and it made you want to wake up, you know, it made you want to start your day because it was calm and subtle. Um, I had to do it with my sister just now, like, because she told me like, yo, I'm a little bit tired, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to go to church, but now it's one o'clock, and we got to get to church like by two. So what I had to do, I had to like touch her feet. This is for all y'all parents out there who wake your kids up rough. This is what you got to do. I touched her feet and I was like... Jesus wants you to come and give some prayers. That was like, Jesus on the telephone, tell him what you need, tell him what you need. You know that song, continue the song in your head, and you know what I did. And then she got up, and now she's up. So anyway, guys, I'm done talking. I'm gonna get ready to start this super. I ain't gonna say super flown vlog. All I'm doing is going to church. I don't want. I don't know what's gonna happen after that, cause really and truly, I have nothing else to do today except when I'm done, I'm gonna leave church maybe after two hours and get back to work. So. Yeah, and this is probably the part where Judah is like in her head, but I thought you were coming over Well, Judah from the past, no Judah from the future oh. What Judah would this be that I'm talking to right now? Judah in the future. Yeah, Judah in the future I'm sorry, babe, but I had to come back get some work done But you, you know what was really nice guys? Judah brought me Aki and Sawfish yesterday just out of the blue It was on a Saturday and like she just came over and just Gave me some ackee and sawfish and she also left some other stuff over. Go figure. Alright, so I just got showered and it feels like all my sins have been washed away. But, um, I just want to, like, give a quick shout out to a few people. Yo, my boy Dre Day. Like, this dude comments on most of my videos. You know what's funny? The other day, like, I looked back on some old videos and some people who were commenting now have been commenting on those videos. I'm like, God damn, these people have been mentioning the channel from the start. Build myself, Dre, Dre, my boy, Dre Day. Um, he sent me a message and told me his birthday was, like, the week or something like that. Honestly, I don't remember the birthday. I'm sorry. 
but happy birthday bro if it's, it's your belated birthday or whatever it is happy birthday big up yourself and i also want to big up one of my friends i want to see if you're really watching the video shelsey but actually i believe she is watching the video one of my friends um from university um she i remember she hit me up one day and she was like yo she was like yo you know what's your video channel what's your channel name or whatever and she started to watch and then she was like way behind like like so far behind and then one day she does pretty much like binge watch like she got herself all the way up to like almost 100 and like i respect the people who come on the channel and binge watch even this other guy i don't remember his name i'm sorry bro i'm just gonna call you the other guy um that um that came from razor blades tv um channel and like he hit me up like on the first video and he was like yo dude i am going to start watching from the first video razor blades sent me big up razor blade tv go over on that channel and check that nigga out and but anyway that guy he said not coming i was like okay cool and then a few maybe like an hour or a couple hours later he was like dude i am on video number 10 and i cannot stop thanks to all the addicts to soy vlogs i love you kisses to the girls boom my face to the niggas so someone just sent me an instagram message and my boy don't just said something but let's check it out oh 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 so look what my girl did real quick put this phone down like that let's see so remember guys when i went to that um uh and I was in St. Elizabeth after Dream Weekend and I went to Pelican Bar. So Las Vegas um, Bar and Grill, that's actually one of my friend's bar that we went to Monroe College together. And this is what she said. I can't let this thing zoom, I'm gonna just read it to y'all. All right, so big up to my girl, Shani the Lioness, the vlog. Like, I like that people do this. Like, they're pretty much like, you know, like if I show them something, they they give me a shout out on Instagram, like thanks, because that's how the channel will grow a lot faster. The biggest way to grow anything in this world, guys, is word of mouth. You get me? I say it's the biggest single way. Can you imagine if I have, let's say, 20 subscribers and 20 of y'all decide to share the video? Yo, dude, maybe on your network, the video is going to get posted to at least maybe five more persons. Five times 20, how much is that? 100. You too slow, man. You need a calculator for that? Goddamn. Yeah. So, like, a hundred extra person, so big up. But anyway, her, her message was thanks to at Ibisoy for featuring this spot on his vlog. It was a perfect way to end another Saint Bet's adventure. Dot dot dot. Stay tuned for my vlog and blog post. So probably you guys should go check out her vlog or blog post as well. You see me? Because maybe she's gonna have like a really good feature on it. Because I didn't feature it, so you guys go check that out. But I heard that the that the seafood there is really good. But this year, I'm definitely going to that place, definitely, because um, we're going back to Dream Weekend. And we're going on more adventures in St. Elizabeth, so check out that too, guys. Alright, I hope she doesn't get upset with this, but I'm featuring your channel, girl. So YouTube, check that out, right? Alright, guys, so here we are again on a Sunday, and I'm ironing my clothes right here. But I have something that I want to, like, kind of soft announce to you guys in the real. Like, to be quite honest, like, some, like, when I just started the channel, some people were like, yo... Yo, dude, you should you should maybe do like some guided tours. Or people will message me and say, hey, yo, like I want to hang out with you when I get to Jamaica, or some crazy stuff like that. And in like in, in the channel or our our family and our community, like I kind of want you guys, like I want you to know that I love y'all, straight up, isn't it? Because like I appreciate talking to y'all. Because in the real world, like I don't keep a lot of friends. I just don't. So when some of you message me and you guys are like, yo. I'm in Jamaica, boy. Yo, I'm gonna be in Portmore. You wanna hang? Like, really and truly, it breaks my heart when I gotta be like, uh, you know, I'm busy. Because most times I am busy. And the next point is like, I don't really know some of my subscribers, like, personally, personally. Like, we haven't, like, really leveled or had, like, conversations where I feel like I know this person. Because, like, I really don't wanna go out with you. And then we're just like, hey, uh, it's me. The vlogger. So, <laughs> like, I really don't want that experience. So, as I said, like, I, I gain inspiration from like my subscribers, and you know, I remember this guy. He was having like his anniversary or something. Something of the sort. He's like, "Yo, I'll come down to Jamaica, and I will pay you whatever you want." Something like that. Like, we can make it a something. I'm probably trying to make it sound big or whatever. I don't even know. But he said something like that. Like, um, just let me know and we will pay you so that you can be our personal tour guide and i was like it was like a really it was like a really nice thing but like in my head at the time i was like yo jano mm, whatever 
So I told him like, you know, I'm gonna be busy, which was true. You know, I had some work to do or whatever. And then he was like, okay, can you make some suggestions for me? And I did give him some suggestions and whatever. And he did come to Jamaica with his wife and whatever. And he did actually send me photos. He was like, yo, thank you so much. I appreciate blah, 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 blah. And I was like, yeah. Now going back to that, I'm thinking to myself, like, why not? Why not this summer? Cause I know a lot of you are gonna be coming out of Jamaica. Why not? Like I do some, from some kind of like guided tour type of thing where it will go in both doorways because clearly, clearly anything I do for this channel, it has to be productive. Like I, I'm pretty much the captain of the boat at the moment and you guys are like the tourists. You guys are the guys who like, you know, help the boat, help finance the boat, help move the boat on and all that crap. So I'm like, well, why not? I do like some guided tours type of things where we do one on one, but it's not gonna be like a guided type of tour or whatever crap. It's gonna be like, yo, you vlogging with me, you know? So at the same point, you're gonna be actually getting the opportunity to share your memory forever. So it's not about, and at the same time, getting to meet me as a person, those who really are interested in meeting me, you get to do that at the same time. So that's what I'm thinking. You know, people might be like, yo, what's the cost? What's the price point? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know what the, what the, what the cost or price point might be. So. What I might do, if I know that you really mess with my channel, I might put it out to a point where we just come to an arrangement. Like we come to some form of deal or whatever, and we see what best will work for both of us as individuals. You know what I'm saying? But that's my self announcement. I'm a fish getting ready because my sister is almost done before me and she a woman, god damn. Oh, and guys, let me know what you think about it. It's a community, so send a comment. Let me know what you think about this idea. And don't worry, don't feel, don't feel away if you, if you know you can't do it or whatever, because I'm not trying to do this as a business. I'm trying to do this in a way that is mutually beneficial for all of us. You know what I'm saying? So even when y'all come here and hang out with me, the other subscribers in the end result will see like some experience, you know? Because like, we need, to, we need to be able to, you know, probably get better equipment, do whatever, whatever, and you know, we all need to inclusively grow. I'm, I'm, I'm gone now because she's, she's pretty much almost done and I'm still here in my boxers. Guys, big, big hot girl Judah left her deodorant. Ah, yeah, I, I'm don't. Guys, should I actually carry the deodorant to church for her? So she can actually wipe her arm? Hmm, in my way, I think. <laughs> Let her suffer. Suffer! Guys, I swear Judah's like a child. She wants snacks. Oh, damn. Anyway, guys, we, like, we just got to church. I can't even see if this is focused or not, but yeah. Got some snacks. My sister there. Got some water and stuff. I brought her out to church. I saved the soul today. A lot of things are happening these days. Why? Yeah, guys, I literally had to come out to church just now. Like, we're not eating from morning. I big man thing, so. I got my. Some kind of water and some chips real quick. I'm not gonna hear that. Man, guys, I'm like so tired right now. What time I went to my bed? I think I went to my bed like uh, maybe at um maybe like close to one o'clock or so. And I had to wake up like at five something because I had work at six in the a.m. in the morning, so I'm running off a little bit of sleep. Plus I'm hungry, so yeah. Um yeah, what the pastor was talking about today was talking about the same thing. Like we're talking about a lot of stuff, but he was pretty much mentioning, you know, labor. Like in our life, you have to labor. Um, labor to achieve what you want. Of course, you have some people who are gonna achieve things like really quickly. Yeah, but not follow everybody else where, you know, you're trying to be like Instagram famous or whatever the case is. Like labor for whatever. If you do by chance get blessed where it just goes smooth sailing, then I'm happy. And I'm happy that happens. But like. You know, they're putting the work, like no matter what, the work half a put in and things take a while. A lot of us are of the conception that like everything just happens like... Yeah, you know, when I was a teenager, I thought that I would get married by I'm 21 and I would own a business. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm pretty much going to try this Gizada. Like, I love Gizada, but like I find like I can never really find the perfect one. The one with like the crunchy outside, but it's a little bit soft in the inside. Then inside here it's fresh and tender. Ah, let's hope. Hmm, this one's pretty good. Could be a little bit better. I like when the the crust is kind of a little bit, you know, a little bit flexible. You can kind of pull it a little bit. But this one's like kind of cookie-like, and it's good. I'll save this name. His name, well, Auntie Joy's goodies. Hmm. I like buying from the ladies who have it in the um. 
like a basket. I walk around with a basket with like, with like bread pudding and carrot cake and gazadas and peanut drops. I find that those ladies make it really good. All right guys, so I pretty much had to leave church a, bit, a little bit early. Like I had some, some work set up that I had to complete. At five o'clock, it's like two minutes to five. So I got home on time just here. And um, yeah, I just gave like a short testimony. The same thing I told you guys in my video about, you know, the whole going out the precipice. I, I gave that little testimony really quick before I left. And, um, and uh, yeah, like the pastor wanted to pray for pray for me and some other people well everybody in the church pretty much and she didn't want me to go but like i had to i really had to but i pretty much sacrificed my sister because my sister was supposed to come home with me and i was like take her <laughs> not in that way but she was like you know she'll pray for she'll she'll fill in for me while you know she take the prayers for me pretty much and that's pretty much what's happening so um yeah but as i said i didn't have anything to do really today i just wanted to you know maybe give a few people a few shout outs that i remembered and just to keep you guys up to date because a lot are coming in um in february but anyway guys remember these three things love nature adaptation and if you love the video keep giving it the likes keep subscribing guys love you keep the link All I am is a man.